Hey, hello! Okay, so and today, today we're gonna be we're talking gonna be about some of the new features in Filmora 14. So if you love video editing as much as I do, and this guy does, you're gonna love this video. So yeah, let's go step by step and see how this tool works. You know that I was supposed to say that, right? Yeah, but you didn't! Okay, yeah, let's, let, yeah, let's jump right in. First is multi-camera editing. This feature is a game changer for those who are working with different camera angles. Think interviews, events, or performances. This feature will allow you to switch between different angles with no effort, okay? So yeah, why don't we go and just take a look. First, select all your clips in the timeline. Right click on the selected clips and choose create multi-camera clip. A dialog box will pop up. Here you can name your clip and choose the synchronization method. If you're working with high resolution footage, just consider checking the proxy box. Click on the compound clip in the timeline. Now press switch multi-camera button. This opens up a playback window showing all the angles. As you play through the clip, you can click on the angles you want to show at any point. Filmora will cut to that camera angle. If you need to adjust your choice later, simply select the cut on the timeline and switch from the multi-camera source again. And that's it! It's fast, it's simple, it's actually super intuitive. And believe me, the timeline, the way it's gonna look at the end, will thank you. Now let's talk about planner tracking, and man, I've been waiting for this tool. It's great, especially for those who like to do like some motion graphics, some text animation or some logo animation. It's great, you're gonna love this. So, in your timeline, click on the clip where you want to apply the planner tracking. Go to the AI Tools tab and enable planner tracking. You will have two models, auto and advanced. Make sure you are at the first frame of your clip. You'll see some corner nodes on the screen. Drag these nodes to create a rectangle around the area you want to track. This could be a sign, a screen, or any flat surface. Then click Analyze. Filmora will process the movement of the selected area throughout the clip. Once the tracking is complete, create the new element. In this case, we're gonna start with the rectangle just to cover the actual sign. Now select your clip and find the link element drop-down menu. Choose the element you just created. Adjust the scale and position until it fits perfectly in the tracked area. If you want to get rid of the selection box outline, simply uncheck the eye icon in the planner tracking menu. You can repeat this process if you want to overlay more elements. Now let's create the text that we want to put into the sign. Drop down the menu and now choose the text you just created. Finally, hide this track and there you go. If you want to add more elements, just repeat this process until it's done. Now let's talk about pad curve. With this, you can create smooth curved motions for the elements in your videos. So, you wanna check that out? Once you have set up the keyframes for your animation, select the keyframes you created and you'll see the options to adjust the curve of the movement. This lets you create a smooth arc instead of a straight line. Drag the curve handles to customize the motion path to your liking. Hit play to see how your element moves. Adjust the keyframes or curves as you need it just to make your animation much better. It's a simple way to make your videos more dynamic and engaging. The updated version of this feature makes it a lot easier to cut out subjects from their backgrounds. To use this feature, just select your clips and apply the cutout effect. The AI will handle the details, giving you a precise separation. Now let's talk about advanced compression. This feature reduces video file sizes while maintaining high quality, making it easier to share and store your work. So these are just some of the new features that Filmora 14 has. We have plenty more features that we will be mentioning in upcoming videos, so stay tuned, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.